Hey y'all! Welcome to day 12 of Wall Hobbies Lento. Although there's nothing special going on in today's little pattern, I wanted to take the time and look at row 59 with you. In row 59 we will alternate the colors B, A, B, A and it will all be knit stitches. But when you knit a color B stitch your A yarn will lie in front of the stitch. There are three ways to hold your yarn. Well, there might even be more, but I'm going to show you three ways to manage your yarns while you are knitting this particular row. Here I have my little demo knitting. This is not what you have so far. Your cowl is much prettier and way, way longer. But this is just for instructional purposes. The way I like to knit a row like row 59 is I hold both my yarns in my left hand and my B color yarn is over my index and middle finger and my A color yarn is just over my index finger and when I'm going to knit the color B yarn I bring my A yarn to the front go under it with a needle tip and knit the stitch in color B then I bring my yarn to the back and it's ready to be knitted with color A Bring my yarn to the front again. Well, you get the idea. Another way to knit a row like 59 is uh, one yarn in each hand. I have my color B yarn in my right hand, color A in my left hand. I take color A to the front, go under it with my needle and knit a stitch in B. Bring my A yarn to the back and knit a stitch in A. And if holding the yarns in both hands or in just your left hand just isn't your thing, of course you can also just knit with your right hand. I bring my color A yarn to the front in between the needles, knit a stitch in B, Bring my A yarn to the back again and knit a stitch in A and just repeat. So now you have three different ways to knit a row like row 59. Since you have a whole row ahead of you, you can just try all the different methods. And I'm curious to see if there's one particular one that you like best. Just try them out all three and good luck. <laughs> 